Jerry, what are you doing? Shh, I'm cracking Nemo's code. Huh? But you have Nemo's parchment. Doesn't it have three numbers that- Shush! A super spy needs super silence. Let me think. Hmm. I know, Nemo's parchment. It had a series of three numbers. Eight, 15, six. <laughs> Aren't I amazing? Yep. All right. Welcome to the Canadian Medical Hall of Fame, the only one of its kind in the world. It was founded in 1994 to celebrate the amazing ways that Canadians have saved lives and improved the health of people around the world. And muskrats, too. Sure. Dr. Calvin Stiller had been at the Hockey Hall of Fame with his son. His son asked him, Dad, if there's a Hockey Hall of Fame, why isn't there a Medical Hall of Fame? Some important people in London thought this was a good idea, so they created one. Hey, it's my pal Fred from World War I. He's Sir Frederick Banting now. Along with Dr. John McLeod, Banting won the Nobel Prize for discovering insulin. Insulin? You helped my mom manage her diabetes. Dude, that's awesome. Thanks, dude. The Hall of Fame is here in the J. Allen Taylor Heritage Building in the heart of London, Ontario. Aw, <laughs> oh, muskrats. It's Bobby Raccoon. Let me see what he stole from the vault. The people pictured on these walls come from every part of Canada, from the city and from the country, and from many different backgrounds. But at a young age, they all caught the bug to study science and make a difference to others. Dude, there's a total treasure trove of info in there. You were in there for 12 seconds. What could you possibly have learned? Well, <gasps> I learned about Dr. Vera Peters, who pioneered treatments for Hodgkin's lymphoma and breast cancer. The men doctors didn't believe her, but she proved it. And I learned that Dr. James Till and Dr. Ernest McCullough discovered stem cells. Super important, because now people with leukemia can get bone marrow transplants. I learned Dr. Armand Frappier's mom died of tuberculosis, so he invented a tuberculosis vaccine that saved millions of lives. I learned that neurosurgeon Dr. Charles Tater did spinal cord research, which led to new rules to prevent spinal cord injuries. I learned that every Hall of Famer is a kind of superhero who dreams up solutions by thinking differently, working with others, and driving Driving ahead no matter what! <gasps> Phew! Wow, you're a quick learner. <laughs> well, I am a superhero, you know. The power of science! Captain Nemo will love this place. The Canadian Medical Hall of Fame is inspiring the next generation of superheroes, providing role models for young people everywhere. Ah, uh, okay. And muskrats, too. <laughs> you're a quick learner, too, dude. Thanks, Jerry.